Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for taking our time to join me today. I am really excited that you have chose to click on this video. I have some things that I want to share with you guys and I hope you get a chance to get some of these items as well. So I first want to welcome you if you are clicking on my video for the first time and if you enjoy my content, I hope you choose to stick around by subscribing by the end of this video. In addition to that, if you are coming back, thank you so much for the continued YouTube support. I really appreciate it. Well, let's get into it. So today I have a Joann's haul for you guys. Yes, this haul was completely free. I only had to make one purchase. I got a chance to experience this with Elise, who is Lisey46 here on the YT. And I'm really excited because we did not know that Joann's actually did this. And I'm so glad that we was in the right place at the right time. This happened the same day as the stamp and paper arts festival. And I'm really excited to be able to share the items that I found. And if you guys knew about this, that Joann's give free items for Christmas, let me know in the comments. This is all new to me and I'm so happy to share what I picked up and what I grabbed and to tell you what my total was before taxes. So let's go ahead and dig on in. So the item that I picked up was this item right here. And I got these unscented tea lights because I needed these. These tea lights right here are really great because I needed them because I love to do the wax seals on my cards on, on the envelopes when I finish them. And I was running really low and they was running a sale. They were 40% off the night that I got them. It's 50 tea light candles inside of this. And these are the perfect size. So I grabbed this. Now the manager in the store at the time, she said, you know, just make one purchase and you can grab whatever you want from the Christmas um, section that was on the front table as well as some of the owls. They had an overload of Christmas items that they was trying to get rid of and you can tell she was done. It was so much. And come to find out, I don't know if you guys remember, but let me give you some insight on that. So remember when the ships were stuck on the ocean with a lot of products. Well, as you know, Michaels as well as Joann's and probably a few other retailers were getting a lot of Christmas stuff even now. And we are now in the month of March and they still have a ton of Christmas stuff in their stores. So check your local store to see if your store is now doing this. If they have markdowns, if they have signs where you say if you purchase an item, get an item for free. Because Joann's was definitely on game and on point with this and we definitely got a lot of great things to share. So I'm going to put my video up in hopes that Elise put hers up so you guys can go over there and check her out as well. But we're going to go ahead and dig on in and I will be back to share more with you guys. So thank you so much for coming back. So here we go. So digging on in, I want to start with my two biggest items that I got from this Joann's haul. Now these items were completely free. Now one of the items was this beautiful Santa. I got this metal Santa and you can see how big that is. Look from the bottom to the top. It has a Santa bag and you can see I'm going to alter this Santa and paint him up the way that I choose and I see fit. But he also stands up and I'm loving that. That Santa retail for $99.99. Yes, guys, it was $100. And I got that completely free. In addition to that, I also got the North Pole Post, which actually holds letters and cards. It has a little um, case in the back where it catches all the envelopes in your cards when you put them through the slot there. And that retail for $29.99. Those were the biggest two items that I have um, that I found at Joann's and they had a ton of them on the shelves and the young lady she kept bringing up so much Christmas stuff and we were just grabbing them out the cart and out of her um, being that she had because she had so much that she was trying to get rid of. I mean some of everything you can imagine from ribbon to signs to crates to bags name it she had it and a lot of christmas trees went first and fast so we didn't get any of the christmas trees but i'm still thankful for the items we did find so now i'm going to go ahead and share with you some of the other things but my plan is to alter these two big items right here and i'm really excited and i was able to get two of the santas and i'm going to share that one with a crafty friend 
and the North Pole post. I'm going to do something with that as well. I'm going to add some color to that. So now I'm going to go ahead and share with you some more of the items. Here's another item right here that I was able to get. They had a few of these Nativity plaster Nativity kits and they have 11 count. This one here is a DIY kit that came with the brush and the paint is also included. And you can make 11 um, of the pieces for the Nativity scene. And these are gonna be awesome. It says ages four plus on there and this would be great to do as a project with your family and your little ones. So I picked this up, this retail for $29.99 originally. And this is what it looks like. So that was one of the items that I picked up. I only got one of those, but it had a ton of them. And this is what the bat looks like. So you can see what the kit looks like here. And a lot of these items here, this particular one right here was um, by American Crafts. That's what this one is by. And I'm loving that. So that's going to be a lot of fun to do with my girls. So I'm excited about that set there. I also found this kit right here. This is a nine piece wood train kit. And this one was retail for $29.99. And this one right here is a wood train that you can paint. And it does include the paint and the paintbrush. This is going to be a lot of fun as well. And this is what it looks like on the back to kind of give you an idea. It gives you some step by step instructions there. I also got this now she had another one but it was missing a lot of parts another lady she grabbed two of them before I knew what was going on but I did manage to get one of them which I'm so happy about this is the gift wrap and ribbon organizer and this retail for $34.99 and this is um, the the one that this is by is place and time holiday storage so the place and time items are most of the items that were the items that they were trying to get rid of they had a lot of those items and you can see what this looks like it's a really big bag and I'm really happy about that so it's like 43 inches long so I'm really excited about that so I'm really thankful and glad to have that extra storage there because I do have a lot of ribbon and wrapping paper and then I also found two rows of this here which is the holiday decor place and time this gift wrap here is 25 square feet and it's like the brown wrapping paper so i'm happy about that so i got two of those and these retail for let's see the price of these for 5.99 each and then i also managed to find this wrapping paper right here and this frozen wrapper paper is what I got. And this retail for $9.99. And it's a long wrapping paper. This is 50 square feet. And my girls love frozen. And I have a niece that loves frozen as well. So that was something else that I picked up so I could wrap their gifts from next year. And then I managed to also get a few other items. So some of the other items that I picked up, and I do plan on sharing a lot of these items. I don't plan on keeping all of this for myself because it was so much that I will, I'm excited to be able to share. And so this was one of the boxes right here. This wood crate, it says, "'Twas the night before Christmas." And it has the stars etched into the wood here that's cut out. And then it says, um, Christmas at the bottom right here and it has a Santa cap and it also has a lock on the box so you can see that the box is a really decent size and I'm loving this this was $19.99 and again this was by place and time and when you open this box up it's really deep in the inside and it has the hinges on there so this is a really great storage box so I do plan on painting this up and definitely um, adding some Christmas inside of this for storage so I'm happy about this piece really really pretty Some of the other boxes that I found was I got one of this one right here. And this box right here has some of the um, greenery as well as like most of the mushrooms. It's kind of the theme for this one and this cute little bow. Um, this particular box right here um, says Happy Holidays on the front. And this one retail for $14.99. So all the boxes that look like this was I'll say probably about the small size. But it still is really great. And you can see the inside is really pretty and then it has um, like it's magnetic closure which is great I plan on putting some remotes or some cords of different things inside of these and then the other box that I found was this item right here 
I got two of this one here and I really love this design right here because this is more of my style and look how beautiful it has more of like that cloudy marble look on the front really really pretty and it says happy holidays on the front of this one and this one has a bow as well and all these boxes again were $14.99 and inside it has the snowflakes which is really really pretty and so I'm happy about those because these are great storage to decorate for the holidays but not just that you can also make a nice gift box if you choose to do that as well so I got two of that one and then I also found a ton of baskets so some of the baskets that I found let me share that with you because it's so much to share alright so I got two of these gray baskets here and I'm gonna show you the inside of this one so it has the snowflakes which matches that um, box that I share with you and these um, baskets here came with the cloth and then these were $19.99 and it also came with a little tag and so this is like a chalk tag which is really nice and so that just hangs there and what I love about these type of baskets is the fact you could take the cloth off and wash these um, so that way if they get dirty in the inside you can still have a nice clean basket or you could spray the basket a different color if you're not happy about the gray but I love that color so I'm gonna keep it as is that's one I plan on keeping for myself so I got two of that one and then inside of this basket I have a lot of other things to share with you so I found all of these ornaments so I got every single ornament that I could find. These ornaments retail for $4.99 each. And they have these little wood pieces on the end of them. Now one of them that I found has the candy canes with the bow on there. And I do plan on painting those up and adding them to the tree. Another one I found has the wood house on there. And I thought this would be great and also maybe to emboss on. And then another one that I found that I didn't even know I had until I looked at them closely was a Christmas tree. I only have one of the Christmas trees, but I found 13 of these ornaments here. And they retail for $4.99 each. And what was really awesome about this, all of these would have been $64.87. And that's before tax. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. And you see the rings that's on there? That is a really nice size. So I'm loving that. And these will also be cute even on a door as well. So I'm happy about that, a doorknob or some sort. In addition to the ornaments and the baskets, I did find these gift bags here. These are the gift bags that I got. They had a ton of gift bags, but this was the only one that I picked up. I picked up 24 of these, and these have the polar bear that's outlined in this foil silver. And these bags retail for $3.99 a piece which was really awesome so these are going to make great to package some gifts in um, to give out so I got all of those it's a lot of bags so these are all the bags here that I got and they had so many different styles they had big bags they also had um, medium sized bags but I chose to get the smaller ones because those are the ones that I have the least of I have a lot of big bags already that I've already bought from other retailers that I keep on hand um, but you can never go wrong with bags so that's the reason why I got those and that was a really awesome find there and so another basket that I got I found this one right here and this particular basket right here is really really big this basket here retails for $29.99 and it comes with this cloth right here that matches the other box that I shared with you you can see the design in this one I found seven of this basket right here and these baskets would have been $209.93 and that's before tax that is crazy and they also came with the chalk tag on there and so these right here, I'm going to give these baskets to a crafty friend that can really use them. So that's what I'm going to do with those. And I also found a lot of other items that I'm going to share. And it's probably going to take some time to get them out because a lot of them are fragile. So please bear with me. Okay, so one of the items that I got was this item here. And it was this Christmas sign. And this Christmas sign right here retail for $39.99 and this is what this one looks like here 
now again if you're not happy about a color or something which i love the red and i love the white in the back or if it needs some touch up you can do that but with this wood you can paint that another color i may paint that black or i may paint it white depending on you know where i'm going to place it but the letters are really really nice and this is a really good size i'm thinking about hanging this over the door for christmas i thought this would be really pretty so i have that sign there which is a really nice sign and they had a ton of signs and elisa and i got a lot of great items what do you see the things that she got and this particular item right here retail for $19.99 this is a wood santa and this is definitely going to be painted up and i'm also going to need to um, sand it down on the sides here so i don't get a splinter but this is a really nice carved out um, Santa Claus and I really really like that they had a ton of those only got one of them because I want to leave some for somebody else to be able to get some of this crafty Christmas love and then I found this really huge sign right here and this particular one right here didn't have a price but I want to say it might retail for about um, 50 maybe even a hundred dollars because this particular one right here is a really decent size and you can see it has a mirror inside of it and it's etched in the mirror it says happy holidays and it's really gorgeous and it has this fabric in the back of the frame here so I thought this was really gorgeous so I got one of these and it also has an area for you to be able to already hang it up in the back it has some twine back there so that's that one and moving right along Make sure I set this somewhere where it's standing up. I found this item here, which I'm excited about. This is a wood crate, and I've always wanted one of these. And this retail for $39.99. And this wood crate, you can see it has a bone and it has a Santa says don't stop, don't stop believing and on this side it has another bone and then so on i'm going to paint this up for sure and make it my own i already have an idea of what i want to use this for and what i want to do with it so that's what my plans are for this wood crate here but that was a good purchase nice and sturdy quality and i found a lot more crates this particular one right here was retail for 39.99 and that's what this one right here looks like and it has that same design that's in that box that I shared with you earlier. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I really love the way this looks. And this is more like a plastic. And I'm glad it's not glass of some sort so it doesn't break very easily. But this box needs a little mending. But that's going to be an easy fit. So I'm going to stick some um, or place some glue in between the wood here. So that way this box doesn't come apart. But this is a nice crate. And again this one was $39.99. So I'm really happy about that one. So I found a lot of crates and a lot of baskets. And also, I'm going to show you the one in just a moment that Elise saw this. And she spotted and she gave to me, um, which I'm happy about. Um, let me grab the other one here. Because I have a lot of these things on the floor because they, so, they are so big. Alright, so this one right here is a really, really huge crate. This particular one right here retails for $49.99. This is um, one of my biggest crates that I found. And this particular one here says, oh, what fun. So it has this on the front of it. And inside it's just um, nice. It's nice quality wood there. Just blank in the inside. But I have some ideas for that. I'm thinking about definitely painting over that sign. And I got something in mind that I want to use and do with this. And now I'm coming close to the end here, but I got a few more things to share with you. So I found this item right here and they had a bunch of them. They also had some glass ones too, but I did not buy the glass. I got a set of four mugs and this is one of them right here. And this also matches that box again. This says home for the holidays and these mugs are a really nice size great for your hot cocoa your teas your coffee your hot you know just whatever you want to put in it even soup and so this retail for $12.99 guys and I got four of these they had a lot still more on the shelf 
but at least and I decided we want to leave some for others to grab and be able to be blessed by and that was the right thing to do so I wanted just to get a set of four for my family and that's what we did there and I think it's absolutely awesome so really really beautiful mug there so I'm really happy about this here and then I also have some glass frames that I found and I think these can open up but I'm not sure I'm gonna have to tinker around with and I don't want to do it on camera in case I may break it by mistake or something but these right here retail for $49.99 I got this one right here and it has a polar bear that's etched into the glass and it says silent night and it's really pretty it has that same marble effect that's also in the boxes and I thought that was absolutely gorgeous so that's one of them there and it does look like it can open, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to do some tinkering around with it to see. But $49.99, I got two of them. I got one polar bear here. And the other one I'm going to share with you. Let me get that one. The other one that I got was this item right here, which is the penguin so I got this one here really really pretty and this one says Merry Christmas on it and again another $49.99 frame really really pretty and so those were the two frames that I picked up and I also found some other frames and I got two of this one so I'm only going to show one of them this particular frame right here retail for $24.99 and it's more of a shadow box frame and it has the gold um, frame and in the inside you can see how it has the wood block with the believe um, in Christmas magic I believe in Christmas magic and I thought this was absolutely wonderful um, my plans for this one I'm thinking about actually using it for the shadow box like it is and adding some more decor in the inside to kind of dress it up a little bit more I feel like it needs it because the mat is so plain but it's pretty by itself but if you do want to do something else to it it definitely can be altered so that's my plan for that and this one does have an area where you can hang up this frame as well on the back um, it has that and then it also has the um, twine there as well so those were two items and last but not least the last item that Elise found and she asked me did I want it and I was like definitely because I use a lot of crates so let me show this last item with you guys so this item right here was a great find this was $59.99 and this one is the crate that I'm speaking of it says home for the holidays so let me move the mug out the way here there we go so home for the holidays is what this one says and it's etched out into the wood and I'm gonna do um, so I'm cleaning up on this box here because right here the wood is kind of lifted up but that's an easy fit so I just sand that down and add some more paint to it and then I love the fact that this um, beautiful crate has these metal handles on the side here which I thought was wonderful but this is the inside here and it's pretty deep in the inside so this was my last find of the day and all of these items were free guys from Joann's and I cannot believe when I told her all this up what it came to and this is before taxes um, so before taxes I told her one thousand three hundred and twenty four dollars and thirty four cents is what all these items would have been before tax and I'm really excited that I had a chance to definitely get these items and be able to bless other people with them as well as to use for my upcoming um, setups and also business and personal use so I want to thank you guys so much for taking out time to watch this video this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes. Continue to be blessed as always. Make sure you check out JoJo Ann's to see if they are doing the same thing so you don't miss out on this. That's why I want to get the word out today. And let me know in the comments if you get a chance to get some of these items. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe, comment below, give this video a thumbs up. Check out my Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Blessings. Bye-bye.